Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a panning look and this is the look I'm wearing right now. I just filmed it for you guys and talked you through how I did. So this is based on my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette that I'm panning this year. So I have been obsessed with this very simple, soft eye look for every day at the moment because I have done a really some really dark looks lately and I just needed something else because I really want it to be spring soon. I'm going to show you what I have used on my eyes. It is based around Salted Camel and Marzipan, some of my favorite shadows in my palette or in the chocolate bar palette. So I'm very very excited to show you guys and I hope you like it and yeah please um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do a lot of panning looks. I do panda palette, pretty pans seasonal project pants, get ready with me. I do a lot but if you have a specific wish or video request or something like that please let me know write it in the comments and let me know what you think of this look I love it so much let's go on to the tutorial and I hope you enjoy it and then I will see you guys next time bye so going in with white chocolate on my brow bone to highlight just a tiny bit because I have already primed my eyes and set it with a powder so now I'm just brightening things up a bit going in with my fluffy crease brush into salted caramel right here just putting that in my crease placing it in my outer corner and then blending it in to my crease because we want to focus the darkest in the outer corner and then it's getting softer into the inner corner after that i'm going in with another fluffy brush so this is the real techniques base shadow brush this fluffy one here. Sometimes I use semi-sweet but sometimes I also use cherry cordial in my outer corner. I use both of these shades on and off in my outer corner. It just depends if I want it more red or I want it more brown. Right now I'm leaning towards the red so that is what I'm going for but it is the same look so I'm not going to do two of these looks because they are going to look the same. I hope that makes sense, but I'm going in with Cherry Cordial in my outer corner, just patting it on in my outer corner, turning the brush because I swirl in the pan, I don't pat. So there's product on both sides, and then I'm just patting it in to my crease. Then I'm taking this brush, it is the Suiva. Lux Soft Crease Brush. There's nothing on the brush, even it's just dirty. I'm going to blend that all out a tiny bit. I'm going in with white chocolate in a minute, but this just blends a small bit. Doing the same on the other eye. So all tap tap and pat. Then we're going to try to make it look the identical. <sighs> try. I don't think I can do it better than this. So I'm going in with my crease brush with the salted caramel, what's left on it, blending it out a tiny bit. There's nothing much on it. Then I'm going in with the first brush with white chocolate and cleaning up here on my brow bone. I'm going in with this brush right here. It is just a fluffy crease brush, but it's small, it's smaller and kind of more dense than the crease brush we used before. And then we are going in with Marzipan, this beautiful color. I have really been enjoying using this color because it's one of my favorites in this palette. So when I packed a lot of this on, I'm just going to put that on my lid. I love it. It 
is so pretty. So then I'm going in with my e.l.f. Ash eyeshadow C brush. It is a very dense brush actually and then I'm going in with champagne truffle here and putting that in my inner corner. I love using this brush because I could just pat it and then it's there. <laughs> like so. It's a perfect size for my inner corner. Oh I forgot. Maybe we can use this one. I forgot a brush. We are got just going to take a tiny bit on this Real Techniques brush and put it in my here in the outer corner of my lower lash line. Can't see it with this mirror. Hold up. Can you see? I usually use another brush that is not this big. It works. Just tiny strokes. Because we don't want any fallout. And if my pen took some of the outer corner, just pat it over again. 